I can at any point in time come and see all the tasks that I've completed in my time using this system. Having a system like this not only gives you clarity on your life, your goals, your values, and so on and so forth, but it also helps you a ton when you want to actually execute tasks because you know exactly what you need to do and you know exactly how important they are for you. I'm sure at any point in your time when you sat down to do some work, you felt like this task that you planned for is taking you much longer or you procrastinated during it and so on and so forth. And these things will still happen. The point is that having a system like this will allow you to deal with it and to solve those problems over time. Welcome back to the series, guys. If you're new here, we're building a system on how to optimize and organize your life. This is part three in this mini series. So if you're new, go and watch part one and two, which I will link somewhere up there. Today, we're talking about projects and tasks. So in part two, we set our goals and based on those goals, now we wanna create actionable projects things that we can really work on to achieve those goals and then fulfill our values. Projects are actually what we are working on, but they are made from a lot of tasks. So projects will tell you what you're gonna do, for example, in the next quarter, where tasks are gonna tell you what you're gonna do on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and so on and so forth. So let's get right into it. So let's start with the projects database. The projects database relates directly to the goals database that we talked about last week with our specific measurable time-based goals that we've created. Now we can go and execute on those goals using projects that now we are going to focus on in that specific quarter. Just having the goal of losing 7.5 kilograms for your quarter, for example, is not good enough because you don't know how you're going to do that. You don't know if you're gonna read an article or watch a YouTube video. You don't know if that is gonna be related to the goal or not. That's why we have projects. It gives you one more lever that you can pull to be able to execute on those goals and achieve your core values with them. The point is we only create projects for the goals in our current quarter. It doesn't make sense to go and create a ton of projects for all the goals that we might want to achieve in two years time or something. And that's what we're going to do now. So all you have to do now is to open the template again that I've uh, put in the description below and then go to your goals database. I'm assuming right now, if you watched the previous video, you have a list of goals here and now you can create the projects. The first thing you need to do is to go to the project database and then fill up the specific name of the project you want to do. But before you do that, you have to look at the current goal that you're working on. So for example, let's say in quarter three of 2021, I want to spend one hour after work with my family every single day. And as the status is currently working on it, I need to create a project on this so I can start executing on it. Then I come to my projects database. I click on new here, or you can always click here and then put the name of your project. Remember that the project should be time-based and should have a clear outcome. So now you might be wondering, okay, what should this project be? The project is defined based on the outcome based on the result. So think about the result first, and then you can see what you need to do to achieve the result. So if I want to spend one hour with my family every single day, what I can do is I can create a project to figure out when I have some free time and my family has some free time. So a project for this would be figure out timetables for you and your family. And why do I say this is a project is because itself will have multiple tasks. This is something that probably you can't just sit at one point and just do and finish. If you could, it would be called a task because for example, this project might have multiple tasks. You have to talk to your family, you have to talk to your kids, you have to see your own timetable and you have to make it all clear to see where you can find a good free time slot every day that you can spend more time with your family. Now I know that might be a bit difficult with this example, but let's look at some of the examples I have. In my project database right now, what you see is all the active projects I have. I can also always switch the, to the all projects and you see all the previous projects that I had in this system and I've completed. So for example, for the goal of losing 7.5 kilograms in quarter three of 2021, I've created a project that's called learn about losing weight the right way and exercise. So clearly, if I want to move this goal forward, I need to make a habit of going to the gym. However, that's not all. I also need to learn about how to lose weight correctly, sustainably with a good diet. And for example, I might want to read some scientific papers on it or something like that. So all of those tasks that I just mentioned will be under this project that is called learn about losing weight the right way and exercise. And then after you have created the list of your projects, what you can do, you can actually assign an energy level to them. I actually originally saw this uh, from Serge Hunt and the way he defines it is that you can put energy levels for the actual projects that you're working towards so that at one glance, you know which project is the most important to you 
and is the highest priority. I like this method quite a lot because it actually allows you to define what you want to do instead of a specific deadline that you have to meet. And usually projects are more longer term and they're going to be time bound in the quarter that you're going to work on. So if you want to have any due dates or any specific hard deadlines, tasks will do that for you. You shouldn't put any deadlines for your projects. Next, what you want to do is obviously come here and put an energy level for the actual project that you're working towards and then related to the area. Obviously, this was related to the family. You can relate it to the goal. The goal was to spend one more hour with my family tasks libraries and resources right now leave them we haven't covered them yet but we will cover them very soon the next thing is that all the projects that you also create come with this project setup template so you can always come in here and click this and what that does is that it brings all the tasks goals areas libraries and resources just like the areas that we had earlier with the self-referential filters and filters everything for you in one view so if we have a look at this you can see that now in that project you can see the specific goal that you have you can see the area it relates to and later on you will see the task libraries and resources why is this important is because if at any point in time in your quarter you want to execute anything for this project you can see at one glance what was my goal about it what area did it relate to what tasks do i have in it and more importantly what have i captured in my library for this project because sometimes your projects need you to go and read papers read articles capture some youtube videos or something like that and also what type of resources or templates i've made for this project and the cool thing about this is that you can basically put your projects on a slow burner and have multiple projects going forward at the same time while you work on them in the background you capture new information about them you execute tasks for them and the job of this project template is to capture and organize all of those things for you where you can find them super easily at one glance so again let's look at what i've captured for my project of learn about losing weight the right way and exercise so as you can see this is an extreme project for me i'm actually working on it and in my tasks you can see that i have two active tasks they are planned in the future i have a quarterly goal here it relates to the area of health i've captured two pieces of information here and there's some resources about it. So at any point in time, if I want to come back to this project and see what I've done, I can come directly here, see, okay, I've, for example, taken a course note about this, or I've made a PDF meal plan for myself. So all of this can be seen in one point, and then I can gauge myself as to how much I've done for this project or how behind I am and so on and so forth. By the way, as I mentioned before, everything that you see here are the things that are not archived. If I come here and I show you all the tasks that I've done for this project, you can see that I've done a lot of things in the past, but as the filter is set for the ones that are not finished, then I only see the ones that are in the future. You don't need to worry about this. All these filters and everything are set up for you anyway. So what you need to do now is to go to the projects database, look at your goals for the current quarter and create projects for every single goal that you have for that quarter, assign energy levels to them and relate them to the area and the goal. This shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes and don't dwell on it too much. Over time, as you start executing on those projects, you can see that the name of the project doesn't make sense anymore. You can be more descriptive, less descriptive and so on and so forth. As I mentioned also, you always have this filter to switch it to all projects. You also have an energy level. You can always switch to the energy level and see what projects are more important to you and so on and so forth. Okay, now let's move on to tasks, which is by far my favorite part of this whole system. Tasks are what you execute on every single day. Every project that you created based on your goals and values has multiple tasks in them. If it doesn't, then it shouldn't be a project in the first place. So what you can do when you create your project, you can actually open it. And then after you've created the template, you have this tasks template here that is actually filtered correctly based on all the things that you need. So then what you do is that after you have created a project and all of your projects, you can come and just brain dump every single thing that you think about that specific project and the things that you need to execute on for that project in this tasks database that is here. For example, for the project of figure out the timetables of you and your family, you can create a task called make it schedule for your day where you have free time after work. This is a specific task. You can sit in one go and actually do that. Now there's different levels of tasks. You can have heavy lift tasks, you can have deep tasks, and you can have shallow tasks. Shallow tasks are tasks that only take about 30 minutes or less to do. Deep tasks are tasks that need you to be in the flow state and really focus focus on doing it. They might take one, two, three, or multiple hours to do. Heavy lift tasks are tasks 
that take a lot of effort to do. So if they might take even a weekend to execute, they might take multiple days to do it and so on and so forth. So we can see clearly that make a schedule for your day where you have free time after work is not going to be that difficult to do. It's just going to probably take you 30 minutes to look at your day and see if you have any time to spare. So let's put this workload to shallow and then you can put a due date on it. What the due date says is when you are going to execute on that task, not when the task is due. Because what we want to do with this whole system is to execute based on what we want to do and when we want to do those tasks, not based on some external factor and someone outside that is telling us when to do that task. And notice what happens if the due date of the task is in the future, the state variable becomes blue, which means that's a task for future. If the state variable is green, it means that it's for today and if it's in the past it means that it's overdue or you forgot to do it right now we're doing this right here in the projects database what you can do you can also create it in your tasks database again just like the projects you can set energy levels as to how much time you want to actually spend on this are you really invested in doing this task or no you're not that fussed but you just don't want to forget it so you can put a high level medium low or idle i usually put high level for things i'm going to execute immediately and they're really important idols are things that i don't really care about i just want to make sure that i don't forget about them yeah so for example for this task you can set medium and then you can also relate it to the area of family so that it shows up in your areas database so tasks are literally the smallest unit of execution in our system and each working day that we want to actually start working and executing these tasks we have to define a number of tasks that we can execute as a rule of thumb you can only execute one heavy lift with three shallows in one day or you can execute two deep works and three shallows in one day and the reason for that will become quite clear in the next video when we talk about the daily tracker and when we look at our day and we see how much time we actually have to execute tasks factoring in procrastination distractions social media running errands and stuff like that you will be surprised as to how little time you have in your day to actually be productive however if you know exactly what you need to do you're in your flow state and you know when you need to execute it it is much 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 easier to have a higher efficiency in those periods and to execute your tasks better and actually get shit done let's look at my tasks as you can see here for example you can see all of my tasks right now from today until this 8th of september where i've actually planned them and i'll tell you later on how we actually plan for tasks using our weekly reviews but don't worry about it right now what i see right now in front of me are the tasks that i need to execute today and the ones that are coming forward as you see i don't have any overdue tasks because i'm on top of my calendar and today all i need to do is to shoot this video so shoot 10 part 3 and as you can see the energy level for it is high the workload for it is deep it's going to take me maybe one two three hours to shoot the due date of it is obviously today because i'm doing it here is related to figure out your goal with youtube and the related area is obviously youtube by the way i can always switch to active tasks and I can only see the ones that are active or I can always switch to calendar view and see everything as a calendar so I know exactly what I need to do when and this is why I love this database so much because I can at any point in time come and see all the tasks that I've completed in my time using this system I don't know why but I really get a kick out of this it's like a big dopamine rush when I actually click on done and as you can see, I've been using this system for a few months now and I've executed so much using it. It is so, so, so powerful because it gives you such a good clarity as to what you need to execute. Having a system like this not only gives you clarity on your life, your goals, your values and so on and so forth, but it also helps you a ton when you want to actually execute tasks because you know exactly what you need to do and you know exactly how important they are for you. And more importantly, if you follow the workload rule of having one heavy lift and three shallow or two deep work and three shallows a day, then you can actually execute on those tasks. I'm sure at any point in your time when you sat down to do some work, you felt like, this tasks that you planned for is taking you much longer or you procrastinated during it and so on and so forth and these things will still happen the point is that having a system like this will allow you to deal with it and to solve those problems over time so yeah 
the first step as to what you need to do now just for the next week don't plan for more than a week at a time because it will be very very difficult and all of your plans will go to shit what you need to do now is to go to your projects list that you just created based on your goals then look at all the tasks that it has and create them in your tasks database after you've done that obviously fill up all the properties for it related to the areas add the energy levels and so on and so forth and by the way notice that when you relate two databases together it automatically pulls the data into both databases so right now we had the projects of figure out the timetables for your family we created the task make a schedule for your day where you have a free time after work you can see the tasks showing up here you can see the tasks showing up in the tasks database and obviously you can see the tasks showing up in the actual template as well but there's not much more two tasks to be honest what you need to do is to just play with it a bit and see what works for you if you can do more tasks in your day and you're more efficient then put them in but if you feel like what i have already here is too much then just bring it down what you need to do is to gauge with the system to find what works for you best and the only way in my opinion to do that is to use this template play around with it and remove things that doesn't matter to you for example, you don't want to relate your tasks to your areas. That's fine. Just delete it and delete it from the template in the areas as well. Or you don't care about having your energy level there or you only care about your workload of the task. That's also fine. Remove it as well. You can always click and delete it if you need to. This is just what I found to work best for me. And it helps me to have clarity as to what goal I'm working on in the quarter, what projects I have for that goal in the quarter, and what tasks I have for that project which means what am i going to execute on to be able to achieve that project that goal which then pushes my core values forward which then obviously is improving my life in one of the specific areas in my life so that's about what i wanted to say today but what we've done so far is that we talked about areas values goals projects and tasks and from next week we're going to talk about the daily tracker which is the best part of this whole system by far so far tasks will tell you what to do but they don't tell you when to do them that's why we have the daily tracker where the daily tracker actually tells you when to go and execute those tasks so that's about it guys if you're enjoying the system so far please leave a like and subscribe below i will cover the rest of this system i think there's five more episodes coming so there's a lot left to the system if you haven't watched the part one and two i will leave the links up here that's about it guys if you have any questions leave the comment below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace